Hi everyone, we are closing up our geometry unit with um, the talk about spheres. So if you want to get real excited about spheres, they are the earth is a sphere, globe, a ball, um, a gumball, anything in the circular three-dimensional shape. We're going to start with surface area and in this same video we are actually going to do volume as well. So we're on page 325 in our books or um, just on a blank piece of paper and I want to point out right here write this down this is the formula for surface area of a sphere that's the first one that we're going to do today 4 pi r squared so let's get to it so if we flip the page it says to the nearest tenth of a square inch what is the surface area of the sphere use 3.14 for pi so a couple things to point out here one, what's our formula again? Oh yeah, it's 4 pi r squared. Two, we need to figure out what pi and r squared is for this situation. So we want to point out that the problem says to use 3.14 for pi. So instead of this pi symbol, we're going to use the numbers 3.14. And the radius is going to be 11 inches. So we start plugging in the numbers. Surface area equals 4 times 3.14, there's our pi, times 11 squared, since we know 11 is our radius, and we just type that whole thing into our calculator, and we get 1,519.8 inches squared. Next type of problem you'll see on page 327. Find the surface area of the sphere to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter. Use 3.14 for pi. So again, we want to point out some things. First, let's remember our formula is 4 pi r squared. Next, let's find out what our radius is. Our radius is actually half of this because this is giving us the diameter of the sphere versus the radius is just halfway. So what do we have to do to that 15? We have to cut it in half. Well, if you divide 15 by 2, you get 7.5. You plug everything that you have into your equation. So I'm going to switch to my highlighter here. It says use 3.14 for pi, so I'm doing it. Radius is not 15. It is 7.5, and I'm still going to square it. I plug in that entire thing into my calculator, and I get 706.5 centimeters squared. Now, that was surface area of a sphere. Volume of a sphere, the formula looks a, a little bit different. I'm just going to point this out. Like, if you want to pause right here and just sort of like look at this little cheat sheet I have, this is just the formula up here for volume and surface area. And then here's both examples. So, here's a sphere with eight centimeter radius. Here's an example of how I got volume. And here's an example of how I got the surface area. So this is just for your use. So we just went through surface area. We are now going to do volume. So volume is if we're going to be filling up our sphere with something. Here we go. Um, on page, what page? 329. You might want to just take a little moment. You're going to see the, the formulas for volume as a sphere written in both ways. These are equal. These two things equal the same thing. So if you see the four-thirds like this, or if you see it like this, they mean the same thing. We're also going to notice that there is a cube in this one. So volume, things get cubed. That's the easiest way to remember it. Uh, surface area, things get squared. So that's the easiest way to remember that with the volume of a sphere, you're actually going to use a cube here. And I'll remind you of how to type that into your calculator in a second. So here's our first example. Find the volume of the sphere to the nearest cubic inch. So that's the nearest hole. Use 3.14 for pi. Okay, what do we need to remember? We need to remember here's our formula. Volume equals 4 pi r cubed all divided by 3. We need to point out that they want us to use 3.14 for pi, and we need to point out that our radius is 17. So when we go to type this into our calculator, those two numbers get substituted in. Let's write it down. So here we have the whole vo volume formula. 4 times 3.14 
times 17 cubed, and then that whole thing gets divided by 3. Now, of course, I tested this, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the calculator. This is just if you Google calculator, 4 times 3.14 times 17 cubed, all divided by 3. And if you press equals, you get the correct answer, 20,569.09. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, repeating. Well, it says to round to the nearest hole, so my answer is actually going to be, we'll click back over here, 20,569, don't forget the units, inches cubed. Now, why did I highlight this? Because you're going to want to type all of this first and then divide that whole thing by 3. If you're not using a Google calculator, if you're just using a scientific calculator, you're going to want to press the equal sign right after you type in all three of these terms here, and then divide by three. Let's go back over here in case you forgot how to type in a cube. So in this problem, we are cubing 17. So you type 17, you're gonna type this button here that gives you the little box, and there it is, that's 17 cubed. And now you can see why that's already almost 5,000. That's why this volume is so big, 20,000. Okay, let's try one more. And this one's kind of a unique uh, problem. It's saying to the nearest tenth of a cubic millimeter, what is the volume of the sphere that appears when a nickel is spinning? So they give you this picture of a nickel, and if you've ever like flipped, flicked a coin on a table and it spins, it's creating a sphere. Again, they want us to use 3.14 for pi. Okay, let's point out a few things. First, Use 3.14 for pi. Okay. Next, how am I going to get this diameter to be the radius? I need to divide this by 2. It's kind of a longer number. So if you divide that by 2 in your calculator, you're going to get your radius to equal 10.605. So that makes this formula that much longer when this little r turns into now a five digit number. Okay. So if we typed this whole thing into the calculator, let's go over the terms. Volume is 4, always going to be 4, pi, or 3.14, 10.605 cubed, all divided by 3. You type that whole thing into your calculator, and hopefully you're going to get um, what I get. Here we go. You should be getting 4,900. 93.4 millimeters cubed. Okay, so if you didn't get that, you might have a, little, a digit off or maybe you go back and review how to type in this cubed. Um, and good luck with your homework. Remember to study for the quiz. That is in a couple days.